Hey Pearl, I've been working on something for you. Awesome, let's see it. Why don't you give this a try? I don't know, it's a little small. What else you got? Here, try this instead. Huh? Hey, these are awesome. I think we're getting pretty close. Alright, this is going to be the one. It's perfect, I love it. Pleasure doing business with you. How's it going, 3D printers? Andrew Singh from 3D Central here, and today we're building Pearl's Spear from Steven Universe. This spear measures over three feet long, and it's printed in multiple segments. This is a super cool print. I'm really excited to be sharing this with everybody. Since we posted our video on how to build Rose Quartz's sword, it's got over 100,000 views, and a ton of people commented asking us to build this spear. So we're really excited to be sharing this finally. We've been working on it for a little while, and I think we have the design ready to go. I also saw a lot of people in the comments calling me bismuth and I wear this apron just about every day while I'm here. All I really needed was one blue sweater to really finish off the deal so to everybody who pointed that out you guys are really onto something here. I literally just build weapons all day long. So in this video I'm going to show you how to put it together. I'm going to show you how to assemble all the pieces and tell you what parts you need to download and print out. All the files for this are available for free as an open source design on Thingiverse and my mini factory. You can download this, print it out, share it, and post remixes, whatever you want. All right, you ready? Let's do it. Just like in the show, Pearl's spear comes in a couple different sizes. This version here has two white segments in it, and those two white handle segments make for a spear that measures over three feet long. The version that we're going to print out today only has one of these large white handle segments in it, so it's going to print out and measure about six inches shorter, and you can see the difference in size. So if you want to make the spear longer, you can just add additional handle segments to it to make it as long as you want. These are all the pieces you need to build Pearl's Spear. There's five pieces that make up the blade, two pieces for the handle, four pieces for the pommel, and then a handful of pins you use to connect everything together. So I'm going to show you how to actually attach everything, assemble it piece by piece, and we're going to show you how to do one piece sanded and attached, and then the rest of them we're going to film a quick time lapse, show you how to put everything together. First things first, we can go ahead and brush aside the handle bit, pommel, and pins for right now. And let's focus on the first two pieces, the tip and the second part of the blade. Using some sandpaper, lightly sand the edges and the hole where the pin sits in on both pieces. Next, take a small amount of super glue and place it along the edge of the inside of the blade, as well as a small amount along the rim of the hole where the pin goes in. Now push the pin in and repeat this for the other side. Now push the two pieces together and press them firmly. Now we're going to repeat that for the next three segments. All right, great. Now we've built the blade. So this part is completely finished, and now it's time to build the handle and the pommel. And those are the last two pieces before this thing is completely finished. But so far, this is looking pretty good, and I'm really excited to see what it's going to look like when it's finished. Next, we're going to lightly sand at the base of the blade, tip of the blue pommel, the base of the blue pommel, and base of the main handle and we're gonna use our hilt pin to connect all three. Right. Once you have the pin inserted, we're gonna insert the pommel, slide that in, now insert a little bit of super glue, and I'll take the main piece of the handle, go ahead and slide that on too. Press firmly until the two are attached. For the bottom of the handle, take a pin and place it into the bottom, and then take the end cap, place it into the other end of the pin, and then push the two together until they snap firmly. Perfect. And now place the final piece, final pommel, on the end of the spear. We're going to put a dab of hot glue in this blue piece, right there in the center, and then just take that and push that right onto the end of the spear, just like that, so it'll sit nice and flush. Then put another dab of hot glue right here onto the ends of that blue pommel bit and then place this yellow pommel bit flat onto that. And don't worry if you have any excess or if there's anything that drips out. We're gonna go back and catch that in a minute. And now for the final piece, this larger blue bit is going to attach right here at the end. So we're just gonna take our hot glue gun again and apply some hot glue right there to the center. Spread it out a bit and then apply this just like that. Pull away any stringing. Now the end is completely finished. All right. 
right, that's the video on how to build Pearl's Spear from Steven Universe. If you enjoyed that video and you want to see more build videos from us on how to build costume props and 3D printer tips and tricks, click the subscribe button up in this corner near this little robot here. And like this video, leave me a comment in the descriptions telling me what other costume props you want to see. And as always, have fun printing. We also made Amethyst's whip. That's this guy right here. This is the handle. There's a little gem at the base. This is the cord, and this is actually made of Ninja Flex, which is a stretchy 3D printing material. So instead of plastic filament, it's kind of like a rubber, and it has little gems glued into it at sort of random intervals. And then at the very end, it has three bigger gems glued into it. So it's actually like a full size whip, just like the one Amethyst carries in the show. We also modeled Garnet's Gauntlet. Don't try and say that 10 times fast, just try and say it one time slowly. Garnet's Gauntlet, that's this guy right here. And we actually printed it out hollow, so you can actually put your hand into it. Uh, when it's printed bigger, this was just a test print, it's made a little bit smaller, but it has different size fingers and a big star on the back. And it's really cool, kind of like a power fist from Fallout, that's what it reminds me of. And by popular demand, we also printed out the scabbard for Rose Quartz's sword. And as you can see, it's hollow. So you can actually put a sword into it. And this was a lot of fun to model. It was a really cool challenge to kind of get the test fitting right. And we're still working on ironing out some kinks as well as adding a little attachment here. So you can attach this to a belt buckle and carry the sword around with you at a con. So we're excited to keep trying that out. And we're working on the shield next. So we finished the modeling. Now we just have to print one out. Expect a video on that one is finished. And here's my favorite, Rose Quartz's sword. This was the first one that we uploaded a video of from tip of the sword to the rose of quartz. This thing is three and a half feet long. It's really cool, tons of detail with the painted handguard, the hilt. Since we first uploaded it, we've actually redesigned it to have a metal rod that runs all the way from, from the tip of the blade to the hilt for extra rigidity. So when you're holding it, it feels really sturdy. And it was a really cool design change that we added because we wanted to make them feel a little bit more sturdy and give them some more heft so when you're holding it, it really feels like a real sword. And that's all the Steven Universe stuff we have right now, but we're always making new stuff from all sorts of different shows. Leave us a comment with whatever you want to see next.